For most of us, meals and snacks require very little thought. Food is food, right? Well, imagine having to worry about every bite your child takes, asking, will this give my little girl brain damage? That's the struggle for one Chittawaga family. Now they're trying to help find a cure. News 4's Katie Alexander shows us how they're raising money to fight PKU. What's a giraffe do? Long, long neck. Nora Kasperzik is sassy and independent. She's like your typical two and a half year old, you know, getting in everything. And like a lot of other toddlers, she can be demanding, especially about her food. She will ask you to make something and then decide she doesn't want it two seconds after it's on the table. Um, she doesn't want to eat anything. But for Nora, there are very few foods she can safely eat. She has a rare metabolic disorder called phenylketonuria, or PKU, diagnosed at birth with the heel prick test every newborn gets. We got that call that every parent don't, you know, doesn't want to get that. Uh, please come back to the hospital. Uh, we want to do some retesting on it, which was a nightmare. PKU affects about one in 10,000 infants in the U.S., leaving them without a liver enzyme needed to process an amino acid found in proteins called phenylalanine. It can build up in the central nervous systems of people with PKU, leaving them with brain damage unless a very strict diet is followed. She's on seven grams of protein for the day. And phenylalanine is in a lot of foods, from meat and eggs to dairy and nuts, anything with the sugar substitute aspartame, even a lot of vegetables and breads have too much protein for Nora. It's not only higher, but it's expensive. Like uh, the, the pasta that me and you would eat was, you know, a dollar a, a box at the supermarket, whereas we have to order her pasta and it's $14, $15 a pound. For That's nothing compared to the special PKU formula, which costs $40 a can. Something she's going to be on for the rest of her life, so it's... Her formula is her version of protein without the phenylalanine in it. And PKU is so rare, insurance doesn't cover a lot of this, something the family is lobbying lawmakers to change. Their real dream, though, is that Nora won't need the formula anymore, that someday soon there will be a cure for PKU. And that's why they're co-chairing a local gala later this month to raise money and awareness. The National PKU Alliance has different research projects that they're working on currently. Um, where our money is going right now is a stem cell research, so we can see if that could possibly help. If you want to buy tickets to attend this family's gala or make a donation to help find a cure, go to the Founded on Four section of our website, wivb.com, for all of the information. Reporting in Chictawaga, Katie Alexander, News 4.